The Jupiter Boys. Is it? Is it recorded? Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Jupiter Boys. My name is Jim Jupiter. And my name is Quinn Jupiter. We're two boys who are from the planet Jupiter, and we talk about things every week. We're already late this week for getting an episode up, so we got to fucking hustle. Quinn, yeah, we got a boogie. Which side of the coin of truth would you like this week? I would like the yellow side, please. Give me right. the yellow side. All right, let's do this. It's the yellow side. It's the yellow oh side. My. All right, go, Quinn. Go, go, go. So, <laughs> well, we still have 10 minutes. So, my topic today is I was thinking. You know, we should start a band. Okay. And we should just kind of, um, we should start a band, right? Okay. We should, we should assemble, like, what kind of music we're going to do, what kind of, like, instruments we're going to have, what kind of, you know, singing style we're going to have. Um, also, we're going to write our first song. So uh, we're doing minutes. this all in today in ten minutes. Well, we already wrote a movie. So okay. The well, the first, step. the first, and as any any you know junior high school student knows, the very first step and the most important step is naming your band. Okay. Um, yes. Because you know, so many bands don't make it out of that stage. They get named and then they just never turn into anything. Yes. Uh, so what what is the name of our band going to be? Is it just the Jupiter Boys? I don't know if it's the Jupiter Boys or if it's Jupiter Rebellion. That's a good. That's a good name for or like Jupiter Nasty. Jupiter Nasty is very good. I think um, uh, hot slice of hot slice of butter. Hot slice of boys. Hot slice of boys. <laughs> that's a great name. I think I think we settle on it. So we're hot, hot slice, slice of, of boys. boys. And so what kind of music? <laughs> what kind of music? Because I was thinking like maybe like so, sort of like Tame Impala meets um, Modest Mouse. Because I know you like some of the yeah. some of that angst. I I, th- I could I think like we should have like a a bit of like a, a dubstep fusion okay in yeah the, like some of the songs like just <laughs> yeah. like very randomly coming in <laughs> just drop the beat on them like yeah. they they aren't expecting it right because because we're new age we're in well, and style I think like I think my um my garage bed actually has like a dubstep builder built into it oh so we can actually write a song yeah and it can be our first single and you you got to just like come up with the lyrics while I handle the uh... okay. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let me get this loaded up. World okay. premiere. So let's. <laughs> uh, so, I guess like before we do anything, we should um, we should come up with, I guess a uh, uh, like aesthetic. Like what's what? What are we gonna look like here? Okay, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're gonna have some like some major blacks going on. We're okay. gonna have some major blacks. You, you know, gotta, like, you maybe might, might want to rephrase that a little bit. I mean, like black clothing, right? We're gonna have we're gonna have black pants. We're gonna have black shoes, but it's gonna be laced with like neon. Okay. So like neon pink, neon green, neon blue. You know that kind of stuff. Yes. And it also lights up neon, so it's got like LED lights on it and shit. Okay. So we can just do concerts in the dark, basically, so that we don't have to get stage fright. <laughs> I like it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yo, yo. Cause we run into the devil, run into the devil, and we'll run into the Satan, yeah. We're gonna go to Satan, we're gonna go to Satan, and we're gonna make a deal, yeah. <laughs> so that's the first to verse first, right? So now we gotta try to find a hook. We're making a deal with Satan, okay? Making a deal with the devil. He's digging in his claws and he's picking in in his talons. He's gonna take us out to the ballpark plowlands. Where is plowlands? I don't know. I ain't been to plowlands in a year or so. This is my freestyle, yeah, this is my freestyle. Everybody knows it's freestyle because it doesn't make any fucking sense, yo. <laughs> what the fuck is plowing? Nobody knows, nobody knows. What the fuck is plowing? I don't know, I don't know. Making a deal with the devil, yeah. It is for my soul and my butthole, oh. Drop it all on the b- (laughs) 
This is the deal with the devil. He gave me, he gave me an immortal soul with the devil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, devil, now, yeah. Making a deal with the devil. That's it. That's our song. That's the song. Making a deal with the <laughs> devil. Making a deal with Dead Devil. That was uh, it reached top top Billboard in sixty eight countries, um, but none of them on earth. <laughs> none of them on earth, and none of them um, really knew what this song was about. They just kind of uh, they just bumped it, you know. Like it's like when you like I wasn't play a listening French to song. like literally anything you said in that song except making a deal with the devil. I think I came up with some pretty solid freestyling, to be honest. I. I hope so because I'm not editing this one like barely at all. So, well, good thing I didn't say anything. That fucking <laughs> that loop that loop thing is so much fun. <laughs> Very really fun. So let's write our second song. Okay, let's do this here. Maybe less dubstepy. Is there like a like a guitar one? Uh, I'm sure there is. I just let me just quickly <laughs> try to figure out how to use it. Uh, let's see here. Rock. Oh, there's an electro funk one. Oh, oh my I goodness. like this. I like this. Okay, hang on here. I kind of went more hip hop with that. I didn't really go Tame Impala or Modest Mouse okay, at all. Okay, let me get let me get this electro funk song getting getting going. And it's funny because oh, like exciting. I'll actually put the record on it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Well, I've been to the mountains. I've gone to the shop. I'm gonna get some snacks, and then I'm gonna plop. I'm gonna plop down on the couch, and I'm gonna watch TV. I'm gonna watch The Office, or maybe Parks and Rec. I'm gonna watch all the shows I've seen 25,000 times. Instead of starting a new show, like I fucking should. I'm gonna watch the same show. I'm gonna do the binge, oh yeah, do the binge. I'm gonna do the binge. I'm gonna binge that show, cause I've seen it 15 times! I'm gonna eat the snacks! I'm gonna get the pretzels! I'm gonna eat the Mountain Dew! But you drink that fucking idiot, yeah! I'm a fucking idiot, cause I screwed up my song, yeah! And I'm gonna leave it in, cause I'm that self-confident in my lyrical abilities! I'm gonna take my couch into the living room! I don't know why my couch was in in the living room in the first place in the first place yeah oh uh, I'm gonna do the binge I'm gonna do the binge binge the fucking show I'm gonna binge your motherfucking show <laughs> this is this is so bad and awful. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think these are actually pretty solid songs. Oh, <laughs> this is uh, a sad day. <laughs> it's a happy day because I finally found my true musical ability in just riffing on beats <laughs> from GarageBand. You basically just need GarageBand. Yeah, but I wish my Mac worked. So That's true. Easy. That's true of most people. Though. They basically just need GarageBand. Yeah, but I mean. If you're gonna do that, we let's, might just let's try to um, let's let's try a different genre here. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's try opera, <laughs> opera style. <laughs> uh, there's a style that's just called chi there's there's Chinese traditional. Oh, um, I don't know if I can do that. There's, <laughs> a, there's let's try house. Okay, house is like probably yeah, like house is like okay, okay, okay. Show up to the party, extra late. Show up to the party, extra late. Gonna take this. Gonna take this. You're gonna take this tablet of E. You're gonna take this tablet E. Now you're feeling extra fine. Now you're feeling extra funky, yeah. You're digging the beat and you're going to the dance floor. Digging the beat and you're going to the dance floor. Digging the beat and you pooped your pants. That's the twist. You pooped your pants. But don't panic. Cause you gotta change your clothes in your backpack 
take the clothes out. Go to the bathroom, extra stealthy. Go to the bathroom, extra stealthy. Take off your poopy pants. Take off your poopy undies. Take your poopy undies and pants and put them in the bathtub. The host will, the host will clean it up later. You'll be extra pissed, but you don't have to tell them that you pooped your pants. Just change your pants. Change them. Change the pants. Change, change the pants. Change the pants. Change, change the pants. Change the pants. But don't forget to wipe. Wipe your bum before you put on your new pants. Because you don't want skid marks. No. You don't want skid marks. No. But now you're back to the dance floor. Back to the dance floor. Back to the beat. <laughs> back to the beat. You're rocking that beat. You're rocking that beat and you're taking your pants off. Taking your pants off. Why are you taking your pants off? Don't take your pants off. That's the ecstasy. That's the ecstasy doing that to you. Probably a little bit of Molly. You don't know where you got that ecstasy. What did you actually take? Oh shit, now you're freaking out. You pooped your pants again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the end of that topic. <laughs> We're way past the end of that topic. Uh, Quinn... Valentine's Day is over. Yes. Right? So if you had a significant other, you done fucking. If not, you done, you're done. you just tired of being sad and lonely. <laughs> In my case, yeah. So, and you know, sometimes you torrent some porn. I know you just torrented some porn. Yep. But, you know, like, it gets boring. It's the same stuff all the time. Right. There's no interaction. There's no one-on-one. Yes. Well, I've got news for you. I've got happy news for you, if this is the case for you, which I suspect it is. Campsoda.com. It's oh. today's digital strip club. Okay. Okay. It has thousands of amateur girls, plus all the hottest porn stars today, including Danny Daniels, mm. Corey Black, and Brandy Love. Oh, I know. I love Brandy Love. I know you do. And it has 24-7 access from your computer, tablet, mobile device, whatever the fuck you're looking for. And you can get these credits, and you can, like, give girls credits to do various things. So That's you can cool. interact. It's, it's interactive porn. I like that. I mean, it's it's very cool. Like, it, there's a live person on the other end of it. It's not, po- you know, it's 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 like a more of a one-on-one thing. It's yeah. it's social. Yeah, exactly. It's a social form of porn. Yeah, exactly. The great great thing about campsetter.com is there's no subscription or rebilling. You get free tokens with a free trial. Like, it is completely free. There's no, you don't have to put your credit card in. Nothing like that. It is free to try, but you just got to go to this URL. It's campsetter.com/podcast. Oh, that's c a m s o d a dot com. Slash podcast. I will go to that. All right, you should do it. Now on to your next topic, Jim. What's your next topic? My topic this week is uh, basically times are tough. Okay. Penny, Penny's getting pinched. Mm-hmm. You know how it is. It's hard out here for a pimp. Sometimes you pinch those pennies and you hurt your fingers. You hurt you your fingers and then you pinch your pennies out of existence. Yeah. And you're like, damn it, why did I pinch that penny so hard? Yeah, it just becomes copper dust. Yeah. This... And you're not, you're not happy. I don't know why you're using pennies anymore. They're not really in circulation, but... I know. It's uh, like I, I, have, I, I invested in them in the 70s, and I haven't been able to get rid of them. You have thousands. I have thousands, of thousands and thousands of pennies. All my fortune is in pennies. Um, so I'm, ta- I'm thinking about, you know, right now, some side hustles I can okay. get into. Because everybody's got to get a side hustle in, in this... That's modern right. day and age, you know, That's in right. this gig economy, in this millennial polluted corporate drivel. Right. I I paint for a living, so I have a couple customers that will exactly. come to me and do ca- I will do cash it's jobs your, for it's them. It's your side hustle. It's my side hustle, and you know, my boss knows about it, and he's fine with it as now, long as I don't abuse the system. You know? In the past, I've had a side hustle of you know chopping a little bit of weed every now and then. Yes. It's not a great. It's not a great plan. No. So you, get, you get a little bit of danger on your on your back on yeah. your on your head. And also, it's about to become legal, so you'd be yeah. very quickly put out of a job. Exactly. So, so that's out of the question. Out of the question. So. That's my usual side hustle. So, uh, I'm, I, you know, I was, I was thinking about uh, selling some books. I got a fuck ton of books that I don't read anymore. It's a good idea. Just pop those up on Amazon. You know, sell those for a few bucks. That's a good plan because people, you can become a seller on Amazon, right? You can yeah. just kind of for uh, like very little. It's like a buck yeah. forty nine an item or some shit. Yeah, but I mean, you could you could make a a pretty good. You know, you can make a pretty good fortune by those. You have a lot of fucking books, my friend. Well, and then, like, I could just go to the used bookstore across the street, buy, like, a bucket for, like, two bucks. Yeah, exactly. And I know it looks good. So I'm like, that's, like, one of my main side hustles I was thinking. Right. But what are some other side hustles you think I should be should be exploring? Some some ones that, like, you know, maybe people haven't thought of. Maybe, maybe they haven't been invented yet. Okay. Um, well, I'm thinking professional head scratcher. Oh, I like that. Because... 
Everybody oh, knows I that's like that. the greatest feeling in the universe is, is having so your good. scalp scratched. Yeah, or like having it like like your hair played with and like kind of like a little bit of nails, but so like not. So here's the nails, deal. Yeah. So like, it comes with a shampoo because you know I don't want to be rubbing my hands through right. dirty old hair, dirty old scalp. Right. So you know you get you get some nice shampoo. You, you when you shampooing them, you're doing with gloves so that right. you don't get any you know gunk and weird shit all over your hands. That's right. And then you know like once you're done, you're you're done. You know washing their hair, and you go all bare fingies. You get the, just the fingies. right the right length of, of fingernail. You know, it's not too long, not too short. Yeah. And you just give that nice, gentle scratch. I like that. A little nice know? scrape. Get this, get and some like, of the would, dead skin I would charge, off. Like, I would do a reasonable rate, but I would say like 100 bucks an hour. Yeah, I, I think that's reasonable. You know what I mean? Like if you pay for like 100, like 100 bucks, you expect an hour of real decent head yeah. scratching plus a nice ass shampoo. Plus, you watch a show while you're getting a head scratch. Yeah, exactly. Like, you got, you know, like, Netflix and Hulu. And yeah, like, yeah. You know, like, them all set up. Amazon so are you going to have, like, an office, or is it just going to be run out of your house? No, you show up. Like, it's a mobile It's a mobile thing, so oh, I go to you. Oh, okay. So you got, like, a mobile sink and like yeah. where you can wash the wash the hair, and, like, you got a big flat screen in the mobile truck. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, the, it's like the back of, like, a, like a UPS, like a repurposed UPS truck. You know what I, th- you know what I think is, like, is, it would be a good good plan for business like okay. a little side hustle yes, is I, like, I would like to know that because since you've brought up the idea of like a portable like a just kind of like a on the go thing yeah i think like a portable buddy like just somebody who just somebody who can like oh like let's say you're at a party and yeah you're feeling like you don't know anybody there and like the right. buddy that you invited you is like sort of off somewhere or hasn't showed up yet oh. and you're fucking like super awkward you yeah. call up this dude he's and gonna he, come hang out with you and, and ch- talk to you he hangs out with you not only does he hang out with you he'll ask you if you want to like talk to other people and he's well, there's, super pe- well there's he's super there's, personal there's various right? premium yeah. services right like he can like start other conversations for you and like bring you into other conversations yeah, exactly he can make introductions to ladies to you like you know he can yeah. sort of break the ice with ladies for you that's a good idea yeah like just a, like a smooth smooth it's like operator a, it's a, a paid wingman i'm pretty sure that's what that like that wedding ringer movie is about with kevin hart yeah basically but like I'm th- I'm thinking more like if you're hanging out at home, you know, you're super lonely. None of your friends want to like hang out or say in the case of me going to movies or something like right. It's just like a dude who basically it's like a Tinder style or it's like a match.com style. So it like matches you with with a dude who might be eligible to be your buddy. So okay, but can, so then you're you're competing with other or you're uh, you're participating with other patrons or are these like professional buddies? These are professional buddies. But okay, like so they it's, all have not the, like it's all, not like you and some other person both join these. It's not like a friend dating. No, service. no, no, no. So so <sighs> basically, you have these buddies and they they're like they they list their real interests because they want it, the buddy experience to be as legitimate as possible. So right. so you go to say a Marvel movie with somebody who's super into Marvel movies. And also super into Modest Mouse and also super, you know, the same music as you and stuff. And you just have a good time. And then you can choose to become real friends with that person if that person so chooses, right? Right, I mean, but, like, but, that's, but that, like, would be hard. Like, first of all, that's not an ongoing business model, right? Because, no, like, I mean, as soon as you, like, choose to, like, do it without the pay, then, like, you know, they've lost you as a customer. But, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, like... That person is not going to be your friend, I don't think. Like, so am I supposed to start this service or join this service? Have you started it? Can I be one of your friend boys? Well, you're already one of my friend boys. Is it called Quinn's Friend Boys? Quinn's, Fri- Fri- Quinn's Friendly Boys? Quinn's Friendly Boys, that's right. Um, but you're already one of my friendly boys, you just didn't know. Oh. Um. <laughs> I'm, like, all of my details are up online. I've got a date with Nicholas next Tuesday. It's a, it's, a, it's a freight. It's a friend date. Yeah, it's a freight. That's it's terrible, afraid. and you should feel bad. Um, <laughs> the joke is bad, and you should feel bad. Uh, what else? What about uh, a service? Oh, okay, like let's say let's say I build a tree fort. Okay. Oh. I build a real nice ass tree fort, like okay. a, like a solid, like not like you know, like sometimes you see those fucking like tree mansions yeah, on it's on stupid, you know, Pinterest or whatever, the, whatever the fuck you are, yeah. and it's just like, oh great, thanks for showing off that you have you know six hundred thousand dollars to just like spend on a whim. Yeah, it's cool, just, cool, cool. It's just ridiculous. So like, it's a decent tree house, you know right. what I mean? It's but it's not like it's sturdy. It's like you know, let's say it's insulated. And it's, and it's not too high up because the, you don't want people the, who you like. Got a, don't... You've got an extension cord running to it. Yeah, and, and it's not terribly high up. It's like eight foot off the ground or yeah, ten yeah. feet off the ground. Yeah, like our trios. We had we had trios. Yeah, once. exactly. It was like four feet off the ground. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it was real real bad. Um, but I, I used to play in that a lot. 
Yep. Because it was just deconstructed and they'd just so, walk around the boards. Yeah. It, it was, like, really dangerous. <laughs> uh, so, like, I build it, you know, it's like it's, it's to code. And the service is just, like, come use my treehouse to just, like, escape and be by yourself for a little bit. Okay, I like that. You know, and it's got, like, a little extension cord. It's got, like, a, you know, like a, a monitor you can plug your plug your device into. You can, like, you know, check out whatever you want. You can just, like, Twitter. It's got Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. It's got a Bluetooth speaker, so you can just listen to podcasts You can, you you can have snacks delivered there. Okay, um, yeah, like, because, well, if, presumably if it's a treehouse, it doesn't have to be a treehouse in, like, the middle of a forest. It can be a treehouse in, like, somebody's yard, but, like, yeah. they just, like... For, they segment off that, that yeah. side of the yard. And it's got, like, lots of privacy. And you can get, like, a Just Eat it's got to, a like, little, deliver pizza to you. It's got a little you. mattress, like, you know, like a little uh, twin mattress for you to sleep on if you want to, like, have a little nappy. It's a premium if you bring another person, though. You have to pay yeah, extra exactly. to bring oh, another yeah. person. A guest is... You have to pay more for a guest. And you have to pay extra if you have sex. If you have sex in it, like... We're not paying you to have sex, so, like, if you, if we find no, th- sex is allowed, you just have to, like, not, like, you know, there, there's a room deposit. If you destroy right. the room, right. you know, there's, yeah. it's, it, you know. But, like, yeah, just basically start, like, a little Airbnb for I like your that. tree fort. I like that idea. That's yeah. That's a really nice idea. We should do that. Yeah, we should totally build, like, a little, like, nook, little, little, little getaway nook. This is more of a thing that we can actually do. I like this. Yeah. I like, um, uh, so, you know how there's Ubers, right? Yes. Let's start and pooper. <laughs> this is somebody like who just like makes sure you're pooping all right. Like just like comes yeah, he and... shows up with like a, like a variety of like laxatives and like fiber supplements and like <laughs> premium toilet papers and like like toilet seat covers and like and like a Gatorade for like when you're like really dehydrated. He's on got a like a he's because... got a warmer that he can like set down on the toilet seat so that it's just like nice and premium warm for you like when you sit down. Um, he's got like a little iPad that you, he can give you. No, he like, like holds it for you. Like, yeah, he, like he, he like presses whatever you want to watch while you're watching. And it's the, the see you need the person who's like not grossed out by poop at all or oh, like exactly. the smell. Uh, you know what we get is somebody who's lost their sense of smell. Totally. You get somebody who's and, lost their and sense of dignity. And, yeah, and sense of taste because you can probably taste some if it's a real big big stinker. You could probably taste it a little bit. I don't want to think about that too bad. <laughs> I don't really want to think. Too, too hard about that. You came up with poopers. So. Okay, so what was your original idea about Uber? Um, an Uber for people who want weed delivered. I don't know. That's going to be a thing. Oh, totally. Yeah, once like weed's legal, you're totally going to see weed delivery weed services. Weed delivery services, because nobody wants to go out. It's just like how there's like alcohol delivery services now, right? Yeah. I've Yeah. Especially in Toronto, it's really big. I did that once in this in Ottawa. It was the shit because I couldn't like really get to like the LCBO after work because it was right. just like way too busy. Yeah. So I just had it delivered. That's a great. That's a great. It's a great side hustle it for somebody a, to get. It is a great side hustle, and that is the end of that topic. Thank you, Quinn, for you, uh, coming up with some good side hustles for me. Thank you, listener, for listening to this um, show. Thank you to all the new listeners that we've got in like, um, like there's, they're all over the place. They're in Japan. There was one from Mexico the other day. Get, get a beat up for the Christo thing. Okay. Go let's on. see here. Okay. So let's get, uh, let's get a, a beat going for Christo. What, what, what kind of, what kind of beat would you like? The funky one, like a funky the, one. The electro funk? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see what we get. So this is thanking Christo Graham who does a theme song. Crystal, Crystal Graham, Crystal Graham, Crystal Graham, yeah. He plays music in Toronto and he's a super Graham. Yeah, he's a super Graham. Thanks, Gwen. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> you can get uh, merch at a Redbubble store. There is more coming soon. Yes, there is. There is more coming soon. We've got a new artist working on it. It's going to be, I, I'm going to be I'm very excited to announce the artist <laughs> when, on that day that it comes out. Um, He's very dear and near to our hearts. It's true. Uh, you can um, like, rate, review, subscribe. If you want to support the show in any kind of way and you don't have money to buy merch or don't really want that shitty merch, you can just like, <laughs> you know, spread the word about us because it really helps us. And um, another thing you can do that could help us is just download all of our episodes. Just, you know, like just on, on your podcast app, just click down, download all. Yep. It would be we don't care if you helpful. listen to all of them. Delete them all after. I don't really care. Uh... But just, you know, give us a download. And um, shoot those nuts straight down your gullet. What dolphin shark?